the vast universe sparks the exploration dream of humankind. The moon has been endowed with endless reverie and good wishes since ancient times. We keep on exploring on the moon for thousands of years. We wonder where she comes from and where human will reach in the future. The moon is an important object for finding these ultimate answers. More than six decades ago, brave men began their exploration of the moon. This time, we come with greater courage, stronger determination, and more ambitious goals. We no longer satisfy with simple visits. We are here for the long-term exploration. The International Lunar Research Station makes these visions possible. It will give us a deeper understanding of the moon and help us find the answers. The ILRS is a comprehensive scientific experimental base on the lunar surface and or lunar orbit. It can realize long-term autonomous running for lunar exploration and utilization. The construction of ILRS will go through three phases of reconnaissance, construction, and utilization. Reconnaissance By 2025, we will have sent Chang'e 4, Chang'e 6, Chang'e 7, Luna 25, Luna 26, and Luna 27 to the moon. Through six missions, the moon will be jointly explored by virus detection forms. They include remote sensing, in-situ detection, and sample return. The site of scientific research station will be determined. Construction From 2026 to 2030, we will send Chang'e 8 and Luna 28 missions to conduct cooperative exploration, finishing technology verification of ILRS. From 2031 to 2035, the International Lunar Missions will be sent. It is to construct the command center, energy facilities, communication facilities, and lunar-based scientific exploration facilities. It will also verify in situ utilization of resources and other common technology in deep space exploration. Utilization After 2036, the IAORS can be used for long term scientific exploration, technical validation, and resource utilization. It can also support short term human missions to the moon. Peace, development, cooperation, and mutual benefit are core concepts of ILRS and will be open to all interested countries and organizations that are willing to cooperate. More countries and regions will have a chance in exploring the moon, developing space technology, and inspiring younger generations. China National Space Administration and Rose Cosmos welcome more international partners. A lunar scientific research facility will be jointly built to benefit all mankind.